Estonia was just named the number one country to launch a startup. And in fact, Estonia has the highest concentration of entrepreneurs in Europe, according to research. Nearly one in five adults there see themselves as either a would be entrepreneur or owner manager of a new business. So, with me to explain exactly what is going on in Estonia is James York, the director of U.S. Business and Innovation for Enterprise Estonia. So, great to have you here. Thank you, Jane. Thank you for having yes. me. So, let's just talk, like, what makes Estonia kind of rise to that level versus every other country in the world? What's There's going on? There's definitely magic in the air okay. in Estonia. Um, it's, uh, it's an amazing country. Um, it's a beautiful country. Yeah. And the, it's also a small country. Uh -huh. So the, the small population facilitates uh, cooperation and connections between industries that you just don't get anywhere else. Mm. So if the adage of six degrees of separation holds true, and in New York it might be closer to eight, Mm -hmm. um, in Estonia, it's about one. So okay. you, can re you can do really amazing things really quickly. Really quickly. Very nimble. Yes. So, and that's going to make a big difference as we become more and more digital, is being able to move 100%. quickly, right? Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Exactly. And, and Estonia is leading the, leading the world. Is leading the that. way there. Well, and I don't think a lot of people realize what kind of innovation has happened in Estonia. Mm -hmm. So Skype software was created in Estonia, right? Yes. And also Bolt, the Bolt. car sharing company is mm -hmm. big in Europe. Was also started it is in Estonia, Estonia, right? Founded, and they're still headquartered in Tallinn, which okay. is the capital. Okay. Okay. So, what kind of other things can you tell people about that they may not know about what's been happening in Estonia? So, uh, Estonia is actually the first country to uh, develop an e-residency scheme. Um, so, the entire country is built on uh, digital infrastructure, okay. and what they decided to do was to open that uh, digital infrastructure and all the services that uh, it allows you to take benefit of to non-residents, non-citizens. So you can actually apply for a digital identity that's recognized and uh, legally binding throughout the EU through Estonia. Um, and you can start a company in about 18 minutes. Online, right? Online. I mean, you don't even have to go to Estonia. You can start an Estonian 100%. incorporated company. Yes, that's it's amazing. amazing. Yeah. It is absolutely amazing. And all the government is digitized as well, right? Yes, okay. about 99% of uh, services are okay. digital. So explain to me what that means. Like, do I, I can go online and pay all my government bills, taxes, mm -hmm. things like that. Like, how does all that work for the average resident? Yeah, so taxes in Estonia actually used to take a uh, horribly long time. Uh, it was about three minutes. Mm -hmm. um, that's down to about 30 seconds now. Mm -hmm. So improvement. Wow. Okay. Although we don't, we like to take our time. We pay taxes. Yes. Yeah. No. It's uh, it's amazing because um, I think the the defining quality is that there's uh, there's extreme transparency and trust with the government mm. in Estonia. Um, so the the public services that uh, citizens and residents take benefit of are interconnected and plugged into everything, mm -hmm. um, which means that you don't have to waste time giving duplicate information. There's actually an ask once law in Estonia. So the government can only ask you for your data once, which is amazing. Government efficiency. Government efficiency. That sounds awesome. Yes. <laughs> okay, so give me kind of, let's back up. Give me a lay of the land. Mm -hmm. So is Estonia an EU country? It absolutely is. Okay. EU, uh, NATO, WTO. Okay. Um, the NATO Center for Cyber Excellence, I believe, uh, is actually headquartered in Estonia. Okay, and it's considered a Baltic nation. Borders mm -hmm. Russia? Yep, so it's okay. uh, right next to Russia, right under Finland. Um, it is the only Nordic of the Nordic country of the three Baltic okay. states. Okay. Okay. And what's the currency and kind of how? Something? Euro. Okay. So they use the euro oh, yeah. there. Okay. Mm -hmm. All right. So, um, and then like how like how easy is it to get there from the U.S.? Uh, fairly easy. Mm -hmm. So you take a flight um, from New York to Helsinki. Okay. Uh, and then it's a 30-minute hop by plane. Okay. To Tallinn, and you're there. So tell me about Enterprise Estonia. It's been around a while, but it has. I know it's kind of expanding. And mm -hmm. what is the mission of Enterprise Estonia? So Enterprise Estonia is the public agency that represents the business environment of the country. Um, it was founded in 2000, and it's there to help uh, facilitate the growth of Estonian businesses. Okay. And uh, one of the ways that, uh, that we do that is through the foreign representative network, of which I am one. Okay. So I believe we're active in about 16 markets. Okay. And so how does that work? Like, what do you do as a foreign representative for Estonia? Uh, so I'm here to be a, a local contact for Estonian companies. I'm here to be a local contact for U.S. companies looking at Estonia. Um, so whether it's an Estonian company looking to export and trade with the U.S., um, I'm usually their first point of contact, helping them to find partners, helping them to better understand the, the business culture and the environment here. Um, for U.S. companies that are looking to source goods or services from Estonia, I'm an excellent point of contact for them uh, to help them navigate the landscape. Uh, if we're talking about investment or FDI opportunities, uh, I'm also 
also the first point of contact. Um, and then uh, connecting with my colleagues in Tallinn. Okay. Now, have you found that American companies are increasingly interested in Estonia and doing business there? And are there any particular sectors mm -hmm. that are most interested in Estonia? Yes. Um, so because of Estonia's um, size, mm -hmm. it's actually a fantastic test bed. Um, so we are actually one of the, the, the proving grounds for 5G technology uh -huh. in the wild um, because with a population of 1.3 million people, you can implement uh, new technologies, new services at a national scale in a very, very agile way. I see. Okay. Almost kind of like a lab. You can... 100%. Yeah, you can yes. like test something else and mm -hmm. work out the bugs and so forth before it's expanded in exactly. a much larger fashion. Exactly. Okay. So then what are your goals for Enterprise Estonia, say, this year and going forward? Uh, to build more bridges between the U.S. and, uh, and Estonia. That's my entire mission here. Um, is to help uh, build the connections, build the bridges, build the relationships, um, and help facilitate uh, more business in both directions. Mm -hmm. Okay, great. Well, thank you. Thank you. I was looking at some pictures of Estonia. It is, looks beautiful. It is gorgeous. I would love to go someday. You so. are very welcome. We would love to have <laughs> Thanks you. Thanks so much, James. Thank great you. to have you here. And thank you as well. We will be right back.